Okay, let me check this hat off. Are we didn't even start yet. <laughs> I mean, girl, is always putting it back on now. They know. They know now. Look, literally, you would never know. Like, girl, it looks like you work at UPS and you're stealing office supplies. Look at that. One piece of tape at a time. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. It's Trixie and Jada getting ready. Today's video is brought to you by Green Chef, my best friends in the world. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic food company and my life has two stages. My life before Green Chef and my life after Green Chef. Green Chef, if you're listening, stop listening. I'm talking to the people here. I took Green Chef on as a sponsor. I was like, I like cooking, I like food, I'm vegetarian, I'm passionate about having good options. I'll try it out. I didn't know that I was going to become basically the spokeswoman of Green Chef. I love Green Chef. I can be on set all day shooting at Netflix. I'll be at World of Wonder all day. I'll get home and my Green Chef will be in a box, maybe sitting out in the sun here in West Hollywood and everything in that box is individually packaged and kept cool all day. Green Chef offsets 100% of the delivery emissions and 100% of the plastic in every packaging. Options for every lifestyle, keto and paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. And for vegetarians, I'm so used to getting the shaft, you guys. I'm used to getting the same two menu options everywhere I go. With Green Chef, every single thing I've ever made has blown my mind. I'll tell you one of my other favorite things. When I lived alone, I could cook a Green Chef meal and I knew that I would have leftovers the next day. But now that I live with Dave, David, it's perfect. David has been like, did you make this? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, he doesn't know that it's Green Chef because I like to try to get more credit. I don't like to tell him that it was delivered to my door with instructions. You guys, it's amazing. It's affordable. I'm obsessed with it. It changed my life. Use my code trixy 60 to get 60% off plus free shipping on your first order with Green Chef. Go to greenchef.com for more details. Now, back to that beautiful woman screaming on the internet. So we're here, we're getting ready with Jada today, one of my oldest friends in drag. One of my oldest friends in the world, Milwaukee Connection. And you booked Evita, and I found mm -hmm. out you're booked at Evita, and I was like, well, I, I hope I can do Evita, and then we get to do it together tonight. This is our first date together the in- the fence. 10 years? Probably that bar we used to work at. Um, you know, Jada and I have worked everywhere in the, in the Milwaukee mm -hmm. surrounding areas. If you are a Midwest queen, you work everywhere. Yeah. I used to work in in Chicago, Champaign, Green, Green Bay, Bay, Mini like Green Bay. Drag queens in cars. <laughs> Jade and I have known each other in drag a very long time. I'm just gonna blow you up before you blow yourself okay. up. In addition to being one of the most incredible drag queens who's ever lived, Jada was like, you know, a 21 year old drag queen who was booked and blessed because she was so beautiful and talented. So I remember turning 21 and going to a drag show for the first time and Jada was in the show and you were the youngest one. Mm -hmm. And then you were doing that song, um, I'm so 2008, hey, you're so, so 2008. 2008. If that lets you know what year it was. I got that boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah. But that's a song where she's bragging about how she's so current and it's 2008. I would still do that song today. I don't blame you. You're so 2008. Wait, I saw Bob and Monet talking about that's all they do. A me <laughs> That's all they do. That's all she can do. That's what she's talented at. That's it, her mouth. But they were talking about Mean Girls being a dated reference. And she literally mentioned that Mean Girls was is 19 years old. That is very ridiculous. I was like literally like one when that came out. I know. That's like all so, these all the baby queens. I'm like, God, everyone's so pretty now. And I'm like, oh, they're young. Yep. <laughs> Great skin, beautiful face. 80 pounds. 80 pounds. Can eat and drink whatever they want, 80 pounds. Do you know what though? You look you look literally exactly the same as I met you. Jada, when I worked at the Mac counter, Jada, <laughs> I think one of our first times bonding was Jada came to buy concealer and I helped her color match a concealer and it was like, it was the first time we really talked. I mean, we worked in Milwaukee, but we mm -hmm. worked together. Yeah, they Just, never really wanted us to work together, I feel like. I think they were afraid of our minds being too powerful. Too powerful. They said if they come together, they'll win things. Yeah. <laughs> too late. <laughs> this, this is so corny, but we used to also be like, you should do drag race. No girl, you should. No girl. No girl, I can't do it. No, you should do it. But the, the thing was that I always felt like in Milwaukee, drag was so a specific thing. It was, it was, it's gotten so, much better about more, that. More flavors. Yeah. But it really, when, and I mean, part of why you worked so much when you were young is because you were like young and cool doing young, cool new, new music. Yeah. But you could do 
a type of drag that was like very respected. Yeah. Like you could do pageant shit. <gasps> I remember seeing you at a pageant, Miss Gay. I think it was Miss Gay, Wisconsin. Yeah. It was the year you got robbed. Oh my God. Yes. Do you I remember, remember that year? You oh did my that God. Talent. That was the worst year of my life. You did that talent that was like <laughs> something like an animal. Oh my God. That, yes, the animal number. And it was like we did like this African it was like, African. dancing and crazy. And my hair was so big. But that was my first pageant at that level. Mm hmm. Is that a locust? <laughs> is it locust season? I dropped my mirror. It's getting biblical. Oh my honey. god, I dropped my mirror. Not to go back, but you, I was at that pageant. You did so good at the time where you, did you think you were gonna win? It was confusing. I thought I was going to win because I was preparing really hard all that year to like get to nationals. And especially because the year before I had lost pageants. I had lost so many pageants, girl. You sure Girl, have. I was doing pageants like every week and like every pageant that I did, I did not win. And I was just so heartbroken. So like next year when I come, I'm gonna like work really hard. And like, that was my year, girl. Well, I was working hard that year. That's the thing. They don't talk about this in pageant. Well, I don't think Drag Race fans know about this, but in pageant world, there's a thing they say that's like, it's her year. It's her year. Which means like, she's done it every year. She's done a good job every year. And it's time for like, it's almost a seniority. It's, yeah. Like, cause in pageant, they always say, well, you know when wins their first year, mm -hmm. which is kind of discouraging. Very much. Cause you're young and you're talented and you're like, why? Why wouldn't I? Why do I have to lose automatically so grandma can feel good about herself? Right. You know what I mean? Seriously. Like, you might be a senior in this industry and you might have been doing this longer, but if I come harder and train harder and to do it, like. It is what it is. Also, do you want to win because you did the best? Or, or win do you want to win? Because you do it every year. And it's like literally, like, and then it's also. Juju B. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Drag Race Earth versus Mars, probably in like the year like 20. Oh, yeah. 79, and she'll be like a head in a jar. She'll be bitch. hosting Drag Race Boston. Because at that, at that time, they have enough franchises where every city will every have Every city has one. Yeah. Um, I'm just using my Makeup Forever Foundation. Y'all have seen me do this a million times. I'm going to be using my, um, I use like all these Huda Beauty concealers. They're like probably the most secret things ever because they go over and give you like this super like flawless finish. Do you ever, you have you ever used any like Huda Beauty products? Yeah, of course. A bunch of their shadows, their highlighters. We've used their lip colors, mm -hmm. but I've not tried their skin products actually. Yeah, it's so good. I'm wearing this like pink dress tonight because it's so hot at Evita. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing like this skimpy little pink dress. Oh, so see. I think I'm gonna do this like Beauty Bay Berry palette. Oh, that is cute. Is I, that new? It's it's maybe a year old, but I think I've only used it once. Who's your favorite brands as far as like you go to the store, you always shop the same brands? Um, obviously your brand is so good. Cause I'm like, I still like, like, you know, it's like nowadays, like I feel like makeup is like starting to scale back to like this very neutral kind of place. Yeah. And then you still like make We're still fun. Still here doing you know, still make fun. I obviously love Huda Beauty because I love the foundation and the products, but oh too, y'all. These, um, these, have you ever used these from House Labs? Yeah, are those the lip ones? Yeah. You like shake them? The gloss them. ones? Yeah. I don't this know is insane. how they do it, but it looks wet and it's not wet. And and it's literally, it's like glo super glossy, but then my favorite thing about it is like, your hair won't stick to it. I don't know how Imagine they do it. Imagine they release this in clear. Mm. Oh. That's a game changer. Yeah, that would You be just serious. have a clear gloss, girl. I would be wearing that as a boy. That you would. Lips yeah. just shiny, looking like an advertisement. By the way, if you see bugs flying around in here, we left the door open for a while. I don't normally have bugs in my house, but here we are, okay? Jada shows up and suddenly there's bugs everywhere. They came out of my bag. You opened your suitcase and bugs flew everywhere and you acted all scared, but you know where they're from. They're, you, they're giving very bad. Like you be at the show and you go, oh my God, girl, it's a hole in my dress. I don't even know how this got here. Girl, it's the same hole in your dress the last time we worked together. Girl, You know girl. you had that hole in that dress. Girl. Or the girl who's like, Ooh, I just ran out of uh, hairspray. You have any hairspray? I no, just ran out. No, you didn't. You no. didn't even spray anything. You didn't, you didn't spray Where's anything. Where's the can? In every town has one drag queen who never has anything. Can I use a hair? Are you gonna wear that jewelry? The best is, what songs do you have on your CD? Oh my God. Hey. What let songs me, you have in your CD? To, let me listen, that was the favorite thing. Oh my God, let me let me listen to your CD real fast. You know what though, not to age myself either, but we used to have to burn CDs before the gig. Girl, oh my God. Nobody does that anymore and it's so nice. Burning CDs sucked, you'd be in drag, Crouch oh next to God. your computer, like on the floor by your door, just trying to have a CD come out. Every gig, I'd have to burn a new CD with track one and mm -hmm. two, because I want to eliminate every variable yeah. of like playing the wrong song. That's the best. When music starts and they're like, the 12 dancing toes of Miss Shanita Taylor or whatever. It is, okay. And then you hear from behind the curtain, 
Wrong track. Wrong track. Wrong track. Nothing. Tell that DJ do he know what he's doing. I track know. two. Track two. Or when the CD would skip. And they'd be in denial. The drag queen would be like, it does not skip. It does like, not skip. Mary, we're hearing it skipping. It's skipping right now. It's currently, he's not remixing. Girl, the last time you came here, you brought the same CD into the same song and it skipped in the same spot. I know it was giving for, that's what I was giving to. I had a Tony Braxton CD and I will always do Tony Braxton. It was like the sexy song and bitch, every single time it would skip at the same part. A bitch, I got to the point that I just started. You just started. I would just lip sync. Twitch it out. Yeah. That's fun though. I'm not twitching, but I was just like, cause you know, I wasn't giving like, back then I was scared to do anything silly on the stage. Yeah, it's interesting. I have to say, not to pivot to Drag Race, but it's interesting that on TV, people really identify with you as like a comedy character because when I first knew you, you were funny backstage, but you didn't do like I comedy. never hosted, I never No, really... you never talked to the microphone, you didn't do comedy numbers. Yeah. So it's it's great that like people think of you now as like a comedic voice because you are so funny. Thank you. I don't think I've ever had a guest on where I really know so much about you, so I'm excited. Yeah. Because even though the world knows so much about you now, I don't think they know some of the real tea, which was like, you were like a working drag queen. I did Drag Race before you, which is so crazy because the quality of your drag was so good, so young. We always all were like, if anybody from Milwaukee will do Drag Race, it'll be Jada. Yeah. So it was so weird that me and James did it before you did it. Cause it was mm -hmm. like, is she It was crazy, or? yeah. And girl, like it was like after I auditioned with you, like I didn't even hear anything back. So I was like, girl, I'll, maybe I'll just go do another pageant and like work on like focusing on myself. And I ended up doing Miss Continental. I was like so excited, but I didn't make the top. 12, but I um, came in fourth place overall for interview. Is that good or bad? That was great. Yeah, that's good, right? Interview was the category that I felt like I was the most nervous about. And I feel like, I feel like with you and your drag, I feel like you always had a voice. And I feel like that was a thing for me. Like, I don't really feel like I had a voice. I feel like my drag was about looks and being great drag uh -huh. and looking good and not feeling like I would have a voice in drag. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's I was... why I feel like I respected your drag so much because it was always like, something in her mind, not feeling like trying to emulate what you see out in the world. I don't think people realize, I mean, I look crazy now, but like 10 years ago, before I did TV or anything, I was, it was, I was a lot to look at. And I thought I was the most incredible thing in the world. So when you have that type of confidence attached to such a left field choice and all these drag and, queens. These and your Miss EOY, Miss Wisconsin EOY. <laughs> You can't take her. Fuck, she was Miss Wisconsin EOY, y'all. She and was a winner before Drag Race. That's why I knew she was see, gonna win. I knew she was gonna win. You know, like my deepest shame is that I won EOY State. Girl, you I know, know. That's like my deepest shame. Entertainer of the Year is a pageant system that is considered the more creative. Yes. You can do weird outfits or like or creative comedy. creative evening gown. Yeah, like the evening gown presentation is based around a theme. So if it's like flora and fauna, all the evening gowns for that particular pageant will be like flowers and green. And gorgeous. It's crazy that I even did it, but I was, I wanted to work. And mm -hmm. all the older drag queens were like, you gotta do a pageant. If you win a pageant, we'll take, like, we were yeah, basically if you don't win a pageant, seriously. girl, it's like, if you didn't do a pageant. Oh, you're in Drag Race Vegas. Yes, oh my God, you, you need to come. Go see her in Vegas if you're, if you're in town. And I guess I can talk about it now, I don't give a f Girl, I'm gonna be hosting the show starting in June. Congratulations. Like through August. And then I'm gonna be hosting Work the World in Asia and Australia and in Mexico and all of Europe too. I've never done Work the World, but yeah. it must be fun to just be able to put like put together one big fat number. The level of production behind that show is insane. I've seen Work the World twice and both times I went home being like, well, that was the best drag show I've ever seen. Like, and it is. Girl, Work the World was the thing that like, when I was like, I wanna get on Drag Race, it was like, I'm auditioning for Drag Race to hopefully be on Work the World. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hopefully yeah. being on the tour, so I'm like, it's a dream that I get to do it. But in, in even more so that I'm like, I'm hosting the tour. That is insane to me. Like, but I feel like hosting the tour now that I feel like I found my voice and like, after doing Drag Race, girl, I feel like I got so much more confident in who I am and like, Totally. My own skin. Well, in the beginning of your career, right? It's like, if you have, if all your value is, you're dancing, you're lip syncing and how beautiful you look. Yeah. When you're a local performer who does two lip syncs a night, it's mm -hmm. not like every night you have to present your real voice. Yeah. So in a weird way, I think it makes a lot of sense that Drag Race was like, it uh, let me come out of boot my camp show. of yeah. like talking, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause your personality only shows backstage in a real drag show. Not everybody. Everybody gets a chance to see that. Yeah. I love Milwaukee. I mean, I if, I did, if I didn't do show business stuff, I don't think it would have ever left. Yeah. I, I have always loved it. And I know maybe you experience this too, but I feel that in Milwaukee, people tend to burn calories complaining about things Milwaukee doesn't have. Yeah. Chicago has this, New York has this, Atlanta has and this. And I'm like, it's like, well, it's good. It's good. Milwaukee's great. What are the odds of two people winning drag race coming from Milwaukee? You know what I mean? Like. 
<sighs> it's so many talented people back home. Maybe so three. Like, possibly James possibly three. Doing James is doing all stars. Oh possibly three. God. Oh my God, can you imagine? We need her to win because she's going to kill us. We need her to win and this time. Yeah. This time around. Wait, mm -hmm. when you did the collaboration with James, uh huh. What was your favorite part about like working with her, like on the collaboration? Oh, the makeup. Yeah. Well, James was our first model. Like it wasn't a James collab. It was James modeled for the collection, yeah. and it was nice to have a drag queen. Who's like, okay, I know. So I know James is a professional. Mm -hmm. B can do her own wigs and makeup, so yeah. she did my wig too. Yeah. And it was like just a very. It was like a retro salon collection. Be and it a just bottle felt blonde. right. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I want. Her. Her. Yeah. I was like trying to get different skin tones too. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, well I hire James who basically does a white woman. Yeah, literally. Do you know about the story where they were like, this is such a funny story. They asked James to perform at Tropical. Do you remember Tropical? Oh my God, yes. Okay. Girl, that was where I just get my start, girl. That was the Latin club. Yeah, you had to do home, songs girl. in Spanish. And you had to do the songs in Spanish, bitch. We got booked there, girl. girl. We were turning it, Mama, bitch. But we were turning it, but it was Duolingo meets like study hall learning girl. the lyrics. Girl, I said, I don't remember the rest bum of bum, and then just turn my back a lot. Bitch is giving, don't. do all the Spanish Beyonce songs. Yes. Because you kind of know the groove. And this is one of my favorite tricks. You do this, move your hand in front of your face. Yes. <sighs> Lots of that. And by the way, people there at the bar, Spanish is their first language. Yeah. As if they aren't clocking that no, I don't, I don't know, know Spanish. And even if I know the words, I don't know what they mean. But you know what? That's the reason why I was, I loved and f with the people. Cause girl, they would know that we didn't know those fucking lyrics and they would still be tipping us down, bitch. I know, they're like, you know what? We we know you caught one word, here's your dollar. But it was it was a fun gig. And I remember one time they asked James to do it. And they said, James, they said, hi Trixie, whatever. But they were like, you know, James, we are looking for more Latin queens for the cast or performing at Trump mm -hmm. Call. And James goes, <gasps> I'm a white woman. Like in character, like she's okay. all offended. Okay. She's so stupid. Stupid. They're offering her work and yeah. she's like, no, I'm a white woman. It's like, okay, girl. Take it, girl. I'm over here doing Frozen in Spanish. Take the job. You know what I mean? Okay. We're Now we're really in it. You can tell we have a gig because now we're up in this movie. We're getting up in here. Can you remind everyone? Yeah. I know. But can you tell me about the day you won Drag Race with the parade? Oh my God. See, that, you know what I'm saying? That's why our city is so like lit. When I won Drag Race, I didn't even, ex I, I was not expecting it at all. I was getting ready to go see my mom. And I'm like, all of a sudden, one of my friends who like literally was like, I saw him in the bushes at my house when I was getting in the car. I'm like, what are you doing by my house? Why are you in the it bushes? It was so weird. I'm like, what? It was like really disorienting. And I'm like, what the is going on? And then all of a sudden, I'm like, he's trying to like speak to me. And I'm like, kind of like being like, girl, it's giving me like, I'm be honest, to be honest, it was giving me like, I'm like, girl, he's a stalker or something crazy. You're he's like, oh right God, I'm gonna have to have fully, my own. I thought it like some crazy shit was happening. I was reaching for my taser. You're like famous changing people. <laughs> you know? And then like, I, then I hear like a lot of like, car noise and I like turn around to the side and you look back far and it's just like this big banner with me on the banner. Was it was in the middle of COVID. In the middle of COVID. So, so you because... couldn't go to the gay bar and celebrate. People were driving by your house and, and like came to celebrate with Did me. you cry? Yeah, I surely did. Yeah, I would cry. I too. was crying. I, bitch, sometimes I still cry about that, you know, when you like, like when I'm thinking about like home, I still like miss being at the bar and seeing the girls we used to talk to and like. Oh my God, Kim and I talk about that all the time. Like without being overly nostalgic for anything, Kim sometimes and I are like, the, the times the best, I enjoyed the most, the most in drag. Yeah, was at are home, in the, yeah. Like in the past, which is fine. Because, you know what But it's because you, you would do drag just for dr the sake of drag. For drag. Girl, I'm like, remember like, remember getting in drag to walk around the bar? Yes. Like bitch, literally fully being at home and be like, oh, we're no, gonna get you, a drag and go tip. You had your tiptoe looks. You wore jeans. Jeans. This was a whore at the bar in jeans and like a camisole. Bitch. With like, it was like the 2000s, it was like big chunky statement jewelry. Like you worked at fing Charming Charlie's, bitch. You worked at Bayshore Mall, bitch. <laughs> I will always be wearing those fucking shirts with like my um With like no it'd be with like, like around the neck, always <laughs> wearing like <laughs> no, like to hide my the, Adam's apple bitch. The, the, the two camisoles <laughs> with like the lace on the bottom. Yes! Oh my god. And like and like a, a high heel off brand. High English. high and we would go always get the shoes from Ross. Cause well, Ross, was, Ross is, it was either Ross or Burlington, or what was the other one? That was, it was that Value store Village. that was on, not Val, oh yeah. On North Avenue. I got kicked out of the Valley Village on North Avenue for being a drag once. Really? Yeah, I was thrifting in drag. Girl, Different think, times. And that, they were like, you're dressed inappropriately. And I looked right at them and I said, cause I was, I mean, I was in lingerie. Yeah. But I was in drag lingerie, which Well, that, means, you know, well, you um, should have lived with that. But I was in drag lingerie, so I had the full <laughs> coverage, five pairs of capizios. I mean, I had contacts in, you couldn't even see my irises. So it's not yeah. like I was showing skin. And I said, you have more skin showing than I do right now. Mm -hmm. And I left uh, anyway. We got on video. We used it my Drag Race audition tape. <laughs> uh, 
Do you remember that little beauty supply store? Girl, I even like Victoria. Yeah, it's going to Mama, remember, Mama, 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 Mama. Oh, remember Foursquare? We you checking on Foursquare. Oh my God! I was, I was the mayor. Oh, you were the mayor. I was of the mayor. You what? Yes, I was. I was the mayor of all the beauty supply stores because I would check in on Facebook. It was like my claim to fame. Like I might not have a cast position, but, but I am. They but know I'm the me. mayor on Foursquare at a wig store. I spend all my money at the wig store. Well, I'm pretty. I'm. You really, almost done. Kind of. I gotta do the white, but I'm really into this berry palette. And my favorite, like my bronzers, y'all that I'm using, is the Fenty. Oh, yeah, they they really go in on those bronzers. Yeah. How does your skin handle like Vegas that many nights in a week? It's week? very dry. I feel yeah. like I'm always dry there when you just like super moisturize. But I mean, but, like so many shows a week too. Girl, but at the, but honestly, at the show where we are so taken care of, no shade. Like I'm very lucky to be at that fucking Vegas show, to be honest. And it's like, girl, to like go from it, like being in Milwaukee and then go to doing the Vegas show. You're and it's like my home bar is a Vegas a, bar. You, you headline a strip, a show on the strip. Yeah. You're a Vegas headliner. That's insane. It's really crazy. I have thought about maybe trying to do that show just because I would love to be able to say I did that. Oh Vegas my God, headliner. yes, you should. I, mean, I bet you guys have a good time, but oh you guys really go in though. That show looks hard. Mm -hmm. You guys it's, do a lot. We do, we do like Fridays, we do two number, two shows a night, and then we're like off Tuesday, Wednesday. So like Saturday. Can, can you ever take Thursday off? Thursday through Monday? Yeah. And I'd, usually I like take off and I have other gigs and like work and stuff like that. I'll so if you do. take off, is the show shorter? Or does someone do an extra number? What um, happens? they bring in a swing. So like they have people who already live in the city, like other girls from the show that like will be like an alternate for us, and they'll come in and do the show. Stop. Yeah. Like Coco is a swing there. Alexis Mateo is a swing there. And they like know the show. <laughs> yeah, they know. This is the thing, bitch. The thing about Coco is she is one of the most talented people that I have ever met in my life, bitch. Coco literally knows every single number in the show. Like, not every single swing does, you don't but even she know your knows. Number. I know it, I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you're supposed to I do it. I know it, but I don't know how to do it. And like, she knows everybody's number in the show, like literally everybody's number. So like, I'm out, she will come in and she'll do my number. If George's is out, she could do George's number. She could do anybody's number in the show. Did you have fun doing winners? Oh my God, it was so fun. I think I had a lot more fun this time because when I went back, I just was um, in a mindset that like, when we already had one show, like, and also I was like, coming to the show with a sense of being kinder to myself. Mm. I feel like, because the first time I watched it, I was like, I could see where I was like, a little bit uptight in some moments, but I'm like, girl, where I'm from, where we're from, girl, people don't get opportunities like that. So it was like, to get it, of course, I'm going to be serious about changing my life, you know what I mean? So, yeah. and but this the second time I went back, I'm like, you know what, it's not always about trying to be right or wrong or winning the competition. Like if I'm going to win, I'm going to win because the work is there and don't think about anything else, just have a good time. And that ended up being like the, one of the, the, the best times. And I think the probably the best thing for me was that getting to be with the other queens because we were in the pandemic. Most of the queens I didn't get to meet. I didn't oh get to meet most God. of the winners, like all of that. So when, I, when we did, when we finally actually did the show, I was like, oh my God, this is my first time meeting like Monet. And like- I didn't even think about yeah. that. Yeah. And some of them I met, but just like briefly. And it was like the first time we were like sisterly bond. We were bad. The, I um, heard. At the hotel. That's what I heard. I heard that you guys were like, what are you gonna do? Fire me? You know what I mean? Whereas the first Get time- Get me my weed now! <laughs> Whereas on the first on the first season, when you first do Drag Race, you've never even seen a video camera. So you're like, can can I pee? Is it yeah, okay you if I get go scared pee? about everything. Then it's on like, All Stars, people are like, you could do what you want, PA. I'll fight you. They like, go, it's, they the go, drag queens they, are crazy. They go, you can't pee. What are you gonna do? Start the runway without me? Yeah, but you. A hundred percent. People just do that. It's, it's really crazy. It's Especially on a winners. Giving. Take me to the bathroom. I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah, totally. Especially on a winners where people are just like, I already won. What else you got? You already you got, know the game. You, you go get me fruit snacks at a Red Bull. How's your mama doing? Oh, I, almost, I don't know what is wrong with me. I almost was gonna tell you that she passed to start crying. Like, oh what God. is wrong? She's fine. She's fine. That is so stupid. Um, just like the compulsion to lie to you. I don't know what that is. So we're almost done here. We're gonna go get in drag drag and come right back. Bye. Woohoo! Femininity is present. I mean, oh, it is it. You guys, in real drag queen fashion, we're running extremely late and we have to go. We have to but go. Thank you, Jada, for coming on the channel. <laughs> Goodbye. I have fun. I love you. Bye, y'all. Oh, I love you.